Welcome back to my channel, Madden Language, and we're going to discuss how to find the deciles for ungrouped data. So let's start with the introduction and the bang deciles. Deciles divide the distribution into tens or ten equal parts. So pag deciles daw, basta ten, ten equal parts siya. Alright, denoted siya by D1, D2, o hanggang D9. And divide the distribution into... 10 groups. Okay? Now, take note, ang 5th decile natin ay yung median. So, let's move on to the formula. Ano ba yung formula na gagamitin natin? So, we have this one. E sub i is equal to i over 10. Multiply mo siya sa quantity m plus 1 tapos t8. Remember, ang th dito ay yung ordinal number and it's not a variable. Okay? So, ang di will be the decile at ang i will be 1, 2, 9. At ang n naman will be the number of samples. So, let's start with the example. Find d sub 3 or third decile, d6, and d8 of the following set of data. 10, 8, 3, 2, hanggang 11. Okay? So the first thing you will do is you have to arrange it to ascending order. Yung pinakamababa hanggang pinakamataas. Ngayon, ligay me formula. And the next step, you have to substitute them. Okay? Substitute mean values. So the sub 5 or 5th decile. So yung i magiging 5 at yung n natin, that will be 11. Kasi we have 11 numbers. Next, simplify it. So 11 plus 1, that will be 12. Yung sa loob ng parentheses. At ang 5 over 10, that will be 0 0.5. Okay. So let's simplify. 0 0.5, multiply mo sa 12, that will be 6. So ang fifth decile daw natin dito ay ah, yung pang anim na numero. So that will be 1, 2, 3, 8. 10, 11. 11 yung pang -anim. So, ang final answer natin para sa 5th decile ay 11. Moving on, let's go to B6 or the 6th decile. So, lagi ko yung formula. Next is substitute the values. Next, we have to simplify it. So, 6 over 10, that will be 0 0.6. At ang 11 plus 1, that will be 12. Now, you have to simplify it. So, 0 0.6 multiply mo sa 12, that will be 7.2. Okay, so yung pang 7.2 daw. Ah, ang problema dito is may decimal siya. Dito, papasok si interpolation formula. Ano ba ang interpolation formula? We have E sub i equals a lower number plus mo sa decimal value, multiply, decimal value first, multiply to higher number minus mo ng lower number. Okay? So, balik tayo sa problem. Lagay ko agad yung interpolation formula. Ngayon, substitute the values. Yung B6. Ngayon, ano ba yung lower number at higher number dito? You round down mo ang 7.2, that will be 7. At ang you round up mo siya, that will be 8. So hanapin mo yung pang 7 at pang 8. Ang pang 7 natin, that will be 12. At ang pang 8, that will be 15. So the lower number will be 12. So lagay ko na siya. At ang higher number natin dito will be 15. At ang decimal natin dito will be 0 0.2. Kasi 7.2. Puli mo lang yung decimal 0.2. Now, we have to simplify it. So, 15 minus 12 is 3. Times 1 ng 0.2, that will be 0.6. Plus 1 ng 12, that will be 12.6. And the final answer for the 6 decile, that will be 12.6. Moving on, let's have the last one, the 8 decile. So, lagi ko ka yung formula. Now, we have to substitute the values. So, simplify it. 
So, 8 over 10, that will be 0 0.8. And ang sang sulob ng parentheses, that will be 12. 12 times man ang 0 0.8, that will be 9.6. Ngayon, let's find the lower number and higher number. Kapag ni-round down mo ang 9.6, that will be 9. At ang higher number, para maanap natin yung higher number, round up natin yung 9.6. That will be 10. So, hanapin mo yung pang sham at pang sampu. Ang pang sham na numero natin dito ay 17. At ang pang sampu ay 18. So, ang lower number natin dito, that will be 17. At ang higher number mo dito ay 18. Again, pagkukunin yung higher number and lower number, hindi siya yung diretsong ni-round down mo at ni-round up mo. Ni-round down natin ni round up para makuha yung yung order ng number. So, yung 9.6 na round down mo, that will be 9. At yung round up mo, that will be 10. In yung um, order ng number. So, dahil 9.6 na round down mo is 9. So, ang ninth number natin ay 17. Okay? Doon tayo, tayo mag-base. Okay? So, ang decimal natin dito, that will be 0. 0.6. Ngayon, simplify natin siya. At the final answer will be 17. Point six. Okay, so here is the summary of the answers. So for the fifth decimal, that will be 11. Or it's just like finding the median. Is it B5 for fifth decimal? It's also the median. And sixth decimal, that will be 12.6. At ang eighth decimal natin, that will be 17.6. And that's the end of the lesson on how to find the deciles for ungrouped data. And if you would like to comment or suggest another math and language video or come a Simon Kyo, please comment down below. Again, this is James, your math and language instructor. Please like and subscribe and also click the bell notification para updated kayo sa bagong videos ng math and language. I'll see you again. Thank you. Goodbye.